Next up, David with Tablet Reconnect. Everybody welcome David. All right, how many of you guys own a tablet? You've got an iPad, a Kindle Fire, Windows Surface, a Google something or other that was supposed to be an iPad killer, but wasn't. You still bought it though. All right, how many of you guys that raised your hand? There we go, a little bit closer. All right. Farther away, there it is. How many of you guys are on your second tablet? You've got, uh, you did the, uh, the first generation iPad, you went to the uh, iPad 2, you got the iPad Air, yes, I see you guys. What'd you do with your first one? Did you sell it? Did you give it to a family member? You don't even know where it is? <laughs> All right, what if I could say, that old tablet could change a child's life forever, okay? That's what we're here to do. We are Tablet Reconnect, and we take those old tablets that are sitting around that you have to actually go find, We'll take those and give those to special needs kids right here in Bartholomew County, okay? And that's what we're gonna talk about right here. Yes, all right, and the cool thing is we're already doing this. We're already doing this. This is already affecting kids. We're gonna talk about that here in just a minute. So, okay, how does this work? You donate a tablet. That comes to us, okay? We uh, get rid of all the personal information, all those embarrassing pictures, things like that. We get rid of those, okay? We put a nice kid-friendly case on it, and we right out the door, goes to kids. Well, who, which, who gets it, okay? We actually have an application. They fill it out, it goes to a review committee we set up that talks about this, and uh, then they get the tablets. You're asking yourself, why should I give my tablet to you? Okay, we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about some of the applications that are out there that are helping kids with special needs, okay? And the first one has to do with verbal communication or voice output. You used to have these devices used to cost thousands of dollars, and now that same technology is customizable on an app for $25, some even less, okay? So then there are also apps based on um, building routines. Routines are really big for kids with autism. So how do we help families develop routines, change routines, things like that? We've got apps for that, okay? So that you can kind of see some of the applications that we're talking about here. So David, you mentioned Kindle Fire. What, what good would an e-reader do for a kid with special needs? Well, we all know that uh, textbooks, really, really, really little bitty print, okay? We can take those textbooks, put them on an e-reader, and blow up the font. Now kids with visual impairments can actually read the books. Kids with physical impairments that can't carry textbooks can carry a Kindle Fire around with them and have all their books with them, okay? Let's talk about some educational skills. Spelling, reading, writing, okay? Kids with special needs, their brains work a little bit differently. These tablets engage kids, okay? You, anybody that's seen a kid use a tablet knows what I'm talking about here, okay? Let's talk about uh, something else here, some statistics for BCSC. 367 kids uh, currently have some sort of verbal or language impairment. 35 preschoolers have some sort of developmental delay, and 123 kids within the school system have autism. So the point is, there's a lot of kids that we can help with this program, okay? Current progress, we've got 11 tablets that we've already distributed there in, in hands of kids right now, okay? We've got uh, 12 kids that have just gone through our application process that have been qualified, that have the ability to get tablets, and I only have four right now that actually just went out the door this week. So we've got a shortage, okay? Guess what? In all of this, you're all standing here. We've already won. You guys are thinking, okay, I've got that iPad. Oh, that iPad Air is really cool. I could get one of those. I could give my old one to this guy. Yeah, that would really help out. Okay. So, or you're thinking, well, so I've got people at work that use iPads. Okay. So, well, why don't you go and talk to that person at work that is in charge of your technology? Find out, hey, what do we do with all our stuff after we're done with it when we upgrade it? Okay. It can go to these guys, all right? How many, how many of you guys work for a company that you, you get an iPad from your company? Anybody, anybody, okay? So there's already people out there, okay? Tax deduction, right? I'm offering you a tax deduction here. Okay, I'm offering you money, all right? All right, what's the point? When we win, kids win, okay? Because when we win, it means we're getting tablets. And when we get tablets, we go to work and all that process I told you about, kids get them, kids win, okay? And that's what this whole project is all about. Okay, cool. So, what if I don't have a tablet? That's all right, because money buys tablets. We can take your money and buy tablets and get them in the hands of kids. We can do that, all right? Yes, that's right. So wait, how much does an iPad cost? Let's talk about that. I can get a refurbished uh, uh, iPad 2 for about $280. Uh, I get a really good deal on a Survivor Life Proof case that you can kick, drop, whatever. $30, I put a $25 gift card with it, out the door, right to a family. Cost me $335, okay? That's what we can do. How do I learn more? There's the website. 
Okay, we do ta tabletreconnect.com. We do tutorials for parents that uh, aren't familiar with iPads, things like that, app reviews. Uh, we do the thumb thing. We do the bird thing, as you can see. Okay, <laughs> cool. All right, lastly, there's a picture of my son, Brady. Uh, he's the inspiration by this project. I'm David McArdle. This is Tablet Reconnect. Thank you.